without fighting and without taking to the streets and without being loud and causing trouble, good trouble, as John Lewis says. We need to be ready now to continue building the movement for a fair economy and a society that addresses the deep inequalities of our state, our public education system, the racism that's seeped in every single system in our country, the healthcare system, and the economy. And we have to make sure we put people first over profit. They're relying on us to sit back, to do nothing, but we need to unite. If you are not plugged in, what better time to plug in than now? Please, there's so many different organizations that have been working. Please get plugged in, because we won't get the community that we need unless we fight for it, because they're not going to give it to us unless we do. I'm also going to ask us to hold a breath for the people we have lost at the hands of the state this year, whether by the inhumane response to a pandemic, by government-sanctioned policing, by the Republican administration enabling and emboldening domestic terrorism, or by concentration camps, prisons, or any of the state's many violent ventures. Let's hold this breath, let's breathe in together, and out. years between then and now becoming radicalized. Learning how the law was not about ethics, but about control. Learning how the state does not work for my immigrant mother, my disabled father, my mentally ill self, all the slant in my eyes and all the Spanish on my tongue, and learning the lethal ramifications the state has on all my siblings who they've made bigger targets of than me. What was ever great about a country that enslaves and murders our black comrades? What was ever great that has happened on stolen land and forgotten indigenous graves? Yeah. What was ever great in a nation of concentration camps, of medical bankruptcy, of cruel labor practices where our poor and disabled are considered disposable, where people still starve and freeze to death in the richest country in the world? They tell us Biden is a victory, but the state is inhumane under Republican and Democratic presidents. Yes. They tell us Biden is a victory, but all I hear is gaslighting. There will be no victory until every human being has all they need to flourish. Yes.